Everton were beaten 1-0 on Saturday to St Mary's in the Premier League. Uh, very, very disappointing result for the Toffees. Southampton hadn't won a game all season and Everton duly obliged and gave them their first victory with a really poor display. Uh, this is what manager Sean Dyche had to say about the performance. Performance-wise, I thought it was um, at least good enough to not lose a game. Um, the chance we created, the, the quality of chances is, is more the interesting thing. Um, you know, so it's not easy away from home. Um, so disappointed that we didn't end up with something from the game. And obviously, key decision in the game went against us. Um, you know, to come away from home is not easy to create 16 chances next year, 1.5, 1.6, whatever it was. You know, they're important moments, and that's showing that you are creating the right level of chance. Um, you know, it's been a frustration since I've been in the last moment of truth, the last pass, the last slide that, you know, Dom, uh, uh, sorry, Dwight puts a, a, a fantastic ball over Jack Harrison and he's done great. He gets there and he's got time to get there and it's maybe the wrong foot. You know, if he goes with his right foot, he just puts it over the keeper, them sort of things. Beto misses from short distance. It comes at him fast, but, you know, you expect that. Beto does great to get him behind and finish that sometimes a marginal call. You know, that's the way it goes. Manga gets one pulled back and the keeper ends up making a save. You know, we allow the keeper to make a save. They're big chances away from home, you know, in the Premier League or at home. Um, so happy with that side of thing. Never really looked involved. I can't, I, you might tell me wrong, I can't remember Jordan having to make a save really, um, which means the defensive unit's doing its job and finding them key moments in attack has been a frustration since I've been at the club. There you go. Um, yeah, we were crap. End of. Uh, there was an incident in the second half which possibly could have been a red card. I mean, Dermot Gallagher uh, as. Uh, what a surprise, agreed with the referee's decision not to san send off Jan Bednarik after he brought down Beto. This was uh, Sean Dyche's view on that incident. The VR for the offside, I'm, I'm all right with that. You know, people saying about toes, so he's toes offside. If you're offside, you're offside. I've got no problem with that. But the, the sending off or the chance of sending off, I'm, I'm very, very surprised by that. Because when you're a defender, an ex-defender, forget about modern technology and VR, that you're thinking you're off You know, as soon as you do that. Because Beto's clearly in his stride. He's breaking across. The thing that worries me about the game is players who don't go down and roll around and all that don't get decisions. And if you do and you slide on your face and all that, they seem to. And I've, I've mentioned this many, many times. Players who are trying to stand their feet, trying to get... And you can see clearly Beto's trying to stand his feet to go and score a goal. Um, he doesn't do anything. And nothing gets given other than the yellow card. And, you know, I, I'm amazed... Um, I don't know whether they still do it. Referees used to talk about inside the V. He's clearly inside the V, cutting inside the V. Um, the defender's a long way off, in my opinion. I, I can't see how he's going to get there. Um, and they don't give that. And I think that's a massive decision in a game like this. Yeah, it was a weird one, wasn't it? Beto did try to stay in his feet, but come down. There was a cover and defender, so I could sort of understand why it wasn't a red. But you see them giving in other games. Uh, and finally... The manager was asked about his substitutions and about some players. This is what he had to say for that question. Wasn't quite with it in the first half, got stronger in the second half. Illy took a knock um, and he was limping a bit and it's you know we had to we had to change it. Um yeah, so and Jesper and Jack is, is a tight call at the moment. You know, Jack worked pretty well actually from the ten, I thought. So but yeah, there's tight calls at the moment. Yeah, he's got a dead well, it looks like a dead leg, but it was bad enough where he was limping. So obviously that's not helpful when you want his player to play at full full tilt and deliver what he can. Well, tactically it was more with Beto and Dom. I didn't think Dom was, you know, doing enough in the game. So therefore I wanted Beto to come on and see if he could affect it, which he so nearly did, of course. Um, and Jack going in the 10, we know he can play there. Obviously with Beto in the team, we're thinking getting as many crosses in as possible as well and playing longer, which we did. And, and it so nearly worked, of course. I'll be honest, I'm still struggling to understand why he took off the centre forward and didn't just put better on with them and really try to go for it. They were they're not a great side at all. They, they struck they weren't really doing anything. They were struggling for for confidence. There was gaps at the back. In my opinion, he should have kept better on the pitch with Dom, gone for it and see what we got. But hey ho. That's just my opinion. Uh, Everton women were beaten 5-0 at Goodison Park yesterday in the Women's Super League. But there was better news for our two younger sides. Uh, the under-21 side beat Stoke City 4-1, coming from a goal behind. Charlie Whittaker, Alad Thomas, Moonan, Moonan and Bowman-Clark with the goals there to give them an excellent win. 
And our under 18 side beat Derby County 2 0 at Finch Farm. They were 2 0 down in that one. Uh, beat them 3 2. What I mean, it was 3 2. They were 2 0 down in the game. Uh, Braden Graham scored a free kick to make it 2 1. He then went on a mazy run, had a shot which took a deflection off the defender for 2 2. And Justin Clark, another goal for him, uh, won the game for Evan. So excellent results for the under 18s and the under 21s there. Uh, make sure you check out the final word, give the video a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. See you later.